So there's a growing feeling for the people in and around Manchester United that Qatar are expected to be the next owners of the United. They seem to be leading the race. They seem to be the favourites going into the race and the one with the most news about. The reports that their bid will be the strongest reports that Qatar are desperate for United and will not let anyone outbid them. They've got a bid bid coming in this week. Romano and Simon Stone have confirmed interest and they've been given the green light. They can own PSG and Manchester United and cooperate the full sale of the United. So we're going to get into some massive, crazy Qatar news. And as I said, this doesn't mean that we're going to get Qatar as our owners. But by the way the media is talking, it seems very positive about Qatar and United, how Qatar won't be beat. They are going to put the strongest bid. They're all in for United. And lots of confirmation from Romano, Simon Stone, good sources that Qatar are in for United. However, could this be the Glazers telling good sources this to get other bids in? Could the Glazers do the dodge and maybe just want a minority stake and not Qatar? There's, there's also... Those questions evolved. I think a lot of the news coming out is a sales tactic to drive up the price about the Glazers wanting to stay. I think they're using that to drive up the price and the bid they get from Qatar. I think, you know, news about other owners like um, Elon Musk, I think was just fake news that the Glazers had told someone in the media to put out to, again, drive up some clicks and maybe think, oh, if they think Elon Musk is in, maybe they'll up their bid. I think it's all games. But I want to get into the news on Qatar and then I want to get into what Fabrizio Romano said on the United Summer Transfer Plans. So it was said yesterday... Qatari's bid for Manchester United is now imminent. They're preparing a bid and Sheikh Tamim bin Hamad Al Tami, the ruling Emma of Qatar, is a Manchester United fan and unlikely to want to let slip the chance of owning what is widely regarded as the biggest sports brand. So news came out last night. I'm going to get into this morning's news. But last night's news effectively was Qatar's bid for United is imminent. They've decided they want the club. They want the full sale of United and that the owner does not want to let this slip. They are serious. They're serious contenders as well. It was said that the Qatar-based interest in Manchester United is concrete and they're not the same group that owns PSG. And that was said by Fabrizio Romano. Again, he confirmed that Qatar are interested in Manchester United. He said that interest is concrete and they're not the same group that own PSG. There's a lot of speculation that it's going to be a minority investment because it's going to be the same group that owns PSG and they couldn't maybe have us and PSG in the Champions League. However, it's going to be different people. There'll be a few mutual people in common, but there will be different people. And they will do what RB Leipzig and RB Salzburg did to make sure that Man United can both com and PSG can both compete in the Champions League, which reportedly they got the green light to go ahead and do that. And the overall news coming out in the media is if Qatar are allowed to own both United and PSG, a lot of people in the media are saying Qatar will be the next owners of United if they're allowed to own both. Um, they won't get outbid. But you just never know with the Glazers. Qatar seems too good to be true, that, so I wouldn't even trust the Glazers to just give us to someone's ship. It was then said, and this was the big news, this was the big news that came in this morning by The Telegraph, that a high-powered Qatari individual and other wealthy owners are understood to be seriously considering an offer independent of PSG ownership. So again, high-powered Qatar individuals from The Telegraph saying serious offer and they're separate from the PSG ownership and that the Qatar Investment Authority to the QIA, the PSG is owned by the Q QSI, um, uh, they're saying the Qatar Investment Authority bid for Manchester United is expected by the end of the week by the QIA. And they said that the QIA is now expected to bid for United and worth £450 billion. So lots of sources, lots of reliable tier one top tier sources saying this Qatar bid is imminent. This Qatar bid is for the take for the full takeover. This Qatar bid is separate to PSG. And the news coming out a lot in the media is if Qatar are allowed to own United PSG, it's unlikely that they will be beaten. The is news that Qatar is smart, they're not going to overpay for United. And if the Glazers want a massive overpayment and they're going to be greedy, then we're going to just be stuck with the Glazers because I don't think anyone's going to give them the six billion they want. I think Qatar are smart. But the news coming out today from lots of sources is. Qatar will bid. The bid is separate to PSG and this bid is for the full takeover. So it's looking big as well. And obviously worth 450 billion. And it was said a Qatari consortium interested in buying Man United are confident of winning the race. So even news saying that Qatar feel confident they will win the race. And that Simon Stone even said there's a growing feeling a Qatar bid will be launched, even though it could be complicated. And Simon Stone knows a lot. But this again talks what saying um, you know, Qatar confident they'll win the race. Mike Keegan said two days ago the Qatar bid is expected to be the strongest and obviously we know and we spoke about this in my live stream yesterday that UEFA is set to give Qatar the green light to bid for Manchester United as long as the Emma is a symbolic hands-off figure and Manchester United have separate manager and distinct corporate structures to PSG that did not conclude and you know it's been said that United like to get the that P Qatar likes to get the green light to own United and PSG if that's the case so lots and lots of reliable outlets kind of confirming 
you know, Qatar will bid. The news coming in is that Qatar are going to bid this week. And, you know, look, it does sound too good to be true at the moment. I'm waiting for some kind of news to come out and for the Glazers to say they're staying. It, it just sounds too good to be true, doesn't it? But the general news, and, and it's crazy massive news, is that Qatar are putting in a bid this week. There are lots of reliable sources corroborating on that Qatar picking a bid this week. They're serious. They want the full takeover. They want to make United massive again. The rain group's obviously looking to oversee the full sale of United by April. I think the Glazers putting out stories that they want to stay is to drive up the bidding price from Qatar, maybe scare them into that. It's Glazernomics, it's Glazer games. But the, the, the overwhelming news on Qatar is that they have big plans for United. They want to get this deal done. They want to be in here by kind of March, April, so they can plan for a big sum of Eric Tenag. They're massive United fans. And, you know, United Cynical tweeted this, and I, I agree with this. And I want to get into this. He said, rival fans... Just don't deep how massive United are. The majority of them are used to um, seeing us be unserious under the Glazers. They're going to be in for a surprise. It'll be jokes regarding Qatar. And look, Qatar's plans to come to United, get an early and back to now get a chance to the window. Man United, like, the thing is, like, yeah, there's a lot of teams out there with, with Qatari owners or Middle Eastern owners like PSG and Man City that have gone from an average team to a good team. But, you know, but they didn't, you know, they've obviously broken FFP rules, Man City. And, well, haven't, you haven't been charged yet. Um... Because obviously they never had that money straight away. The thing about Manchester United is, you know, we are the biggest club in, in England. We're in the richest league in the world. The Premier League makes double the league a year. Relegation teams in the Premier League make more than mid-table La Liga teams. It's it's ridiculous how much money is made in the Champions League. United are in the richest, biggest league in the world. They're the biggest club in the world with 600 million followers. I think Real Madrid's the biggest technically. But you get what I mean. That They're a massive football club. You know, imagine, you know, how much money it brings in with unserious owners taking dividends out of the club that are running the club like an idiot. Imagine what we're doing now. Just imagine, and I'm saying this now, how good United would be with serious owners. Serious owners that put a serious board and structure and back Eric Ten Hag. Manchester United would be unreal. You see you see what they've done with Qatar? They could do that with United, but even bigger, because United is bigger than uh, PSG. You see what Qatar done with PSG? And Qatar, they're good businessmen. They made PSG a massive global... Um, franchise in terms of merchandising you know PSG a massive side you could say oh if we get similar owners to Qatar that'd be Mbappe but no seriously it, it's big it was also said as well by Mike Keegan a little more info on Qatar slash Manchester United if their bids win and they are not here to lose they would evaluate all depth before making changes they would be given an opportunity to impress where investment is needed would be provided on and off the field so he's saying that Qatar, if they're big wins, they're not here to lose. And Qatar all in for United, so they don't want to lose. That you know, I'd be shocked if Qatar made a bid and didn't win. I can't see Jim Ratcliffe or some American investors outbidding Qatar when Qatar were 400 or so billion. I think the only reason Qatar might lose is because Qatar aren't stupid enough to massively overpay the Glazers. They'll want United at what it's worth. But Qatar have wanted United for a while. Qatar have been linked to United for a while. And, you know, there's no better club to own than United. It's steps. It's a step up from Man City and and PSG as well but they did say they would be given a chance to give an opportunity to impress would that mean he would keep Arnold and Murta then you're in for a big problem if I'm Qatar the first thing you do is you sat that board you look at Michael Edwards you look at Paul Mitchell you look you know you, you look and you go you know actually let's rebuild that Ajax structure maybe get Van der Sar and you know I think that board will go Romano said it's likely that we do get new owners the board will go but we'll have to wait and see what Qatar plans to do I want to talk about Fabrizio Romano just giving a slight chance for update he went on the United Stand YouTube channel and gave a slight chance for update and Romano said this he said a midfielder and striker are big priorities for the summer at United which is what we already know and I think who the midfielder and striker we sign could often depend on the budget and Qatar I think if we get top four if we get rich Arab Qatar owners I think we could have a massive massive summer a massive summer but we've got to wait and see if that happens it was also said by Romano that Manchester United along with other English clubs are interested in Diogo Costa there are however no talks and any move for a keeper depends on what happens to De Gea so again he's confirmed there is a bit of interest in keeper we have been looking at Diogo Costa we also know we've been looking at David Raya but it will depend on De Gea I think it will be midfield and a striker in the summer and I think the rest depends again on new ownership how much they're willing to back to now. Potentially another midfielder, potentially a centre-back to replace Maguire, who looks set to leave United. Potentially a right-back, potentially a keeper, potentially a winger. But we know it'll be a striker, we know it'll be a midfielder, because we know that's what Tenag wants. And look, if we could get Frankie Diong a bit to Ossenham, I'd absolutely love it, but I don't think that's going to happen. But we can only dream. But anyway, people, let me know your thoughts on Qatar. Looking really positive for Qatar. Like, big, big news coming in. Qatar seems to kind of be a step 
of everything else ahead of everyone else and basically the news coming in is from multiple reliable sources saying the same story that Qatar will bid this week full takeover Qatar is serious so it's looking really really good it's looking very likely that Qatar are going to be the next owners of United but in the summer we were told we were going to get De Jong and we didn't so you, you can't always trust the media because sometimes they click bets into things so we'll have to see where this goes but if we get, once we get more information of course I'll be here to update you guys so just stay up to date with all the latest Manchester United news and news regarding the takeover, do subscribe. Thank you for watching. See you next time. Bye.